Hi, I am Parul and you are watching this video by JustTutors.com. In this video, we will be learning about angle subtended at center, in which we will cover angle subtended by an arc of a circle. So before we proceed with today's topic, let's try these two questions here. You can pause this video and try these questions. So in the first questions, two chords are given to us at a distance of 7 cm each from center of circle. If length of one chord is 25 centimeter, we have to find the length of another, the other one, the other chord. So, as we know that the chords which are equidistant from the center are equal, therefore the other chord also measures 25 centimeter. Then the next question is that we have two chords A, B, and C, D, each of length 19 centimeter, and distance of one chord is. 4 cm, we have to find the distance of AB from center. So as we know that equal chords are always equidistant from the center, so AB also is at distance of 4 cm from center. Now if both of your answers are correct and you also applied same properties, well done you have shown really good progress. Now let's proceed with angle subtended by an arc of a circle. So this property states that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of circle is twice the angle subtended by the arc at any point of the circle. What it means to say is that angle POQ is twice of angle PRQ. Now let's see how we can prove that. For this we'll do a small construction by joining or by making radius from O to R and extending it slightly to S. So in triangle R O Q here angle S O Q that is this angle S O Q is equal to that's an exterior angle so it will be equal to sum of interior opposite angles that means this angle plus this angle so it becomes ORQ plus OQR and since OR is equal to OQ so it becomes isosceles triangle so angle ORQ equals to OQR or we can say that angle SOQ becomes twice of ORQ Similarly, in triangle ORP, we get that angle SOP, that is this angle, is twice of angle ORP. Now, by adding both the equations, let's make this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. what we get is angle POQ is equal to SOP plus SOQ. Now SOP is same as twice of angle ORP and SOQ is same as twice of ORQ. So we get that angle POQ is equal to twice of angle PRQ. Hence, we have proved that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of circle is twice the angle subtended by the arc at any point of the circle. Now, let's see what's the next property that we have. It says that angle in the same segment of a circle are equal. So, how we will prove this? We know that the angle subtended by an arc at center of circle is twice the angle subtended by arc at any other point. So we can say that angle POQ will be twice of angle PTQ and similarly angle POQ will also be twice of angle PSQ. Now on equating both the equations 1 and 2 we come to know that angle PTQ that is this angle equals to angle PSQ. Hence, we have proved that angles in the same segment of circle are equal. So based on these two properties, you can try these two questions here. You can pause the video to try these questions. 
and check your answers from this answer slide. If both your answers are correct, well done. You re have shown really good progress with properties of circles. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justtutors.com.